so i know when we are doing uh, the importation business there's something that actually we cannot dare assume getting a sample it's very very important yeah but i know some people it kind of feels like it is too much of work other people feel like um you know the sample is very very expensive it takes time it's time consuming etc etc yeah so maybe in our today's video i will be trying to handle this issue how are you how how do you get assured on the quality of a product even without getting a sample yeah even without getting a sample even though we know still getting a sample it's very 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 important so hi guys and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is miss karinge or else you can call me monica and so i know now we are at new year and as you plan on your new year um I'm hoping that you are taking down your notes and you're planning on your business you're planning on on your on, on your import business and you are laying down proper strategies don't just wake up today say i want to import and just import and then within the next few days you'll be here crying yeah make sure that you do things in the right ways yeah so without any further ado let's get into the video so um there are different ways actually on which uh, you can be able to you know it's a sure way for you to know the quality of a product because guys remember a product quality it's everything a product quality it's everything and I know recently as I have been taking uh, my students through this entire course of importation there's something that actually I'm really insisting number one you need to do proper and I mean proper market research of the kind of product that you want to import we know there are some people who have gone into the import business yes they have gone into the import business but they have their stock lying in their stores yeah i don't want this to be your case then the second thing that uh it's very very important it's the product quality it's the product quality because at the end of the day we don't want you to bring your items where you have successfully imported but you get a poor quality yeah so and that's why you will hear in most of my videos i always insist on starting small yeah i always insist on starting small and uh, maybe there's a reason as why i insist on starting small and most importantly it's not because of the process the process the process it's too easy for me on how to import yeah but the question is what kind of a supplier do you have can you rely on them can they ship for you a quality product yeah so um personally i i have different ways on which i can be able to know a product quality even sometimes without getting um the sample of that product and actually guys i think i'll be having around five or six uh, ways in which you can be able to check on the product quality the first way in which you can be able to know the the, the, the product quality before you even import it it's it's having a, a product inspector this one is based in china yeah a product inspector so what is the work of this product inspector their work it's for example you already have a supplier and maybe a supplier tells you they are they are based in shanghai and they're selling this and this stuff yeah uh, but you're not sure about their product the work of this inspector is actually to have a look at those products how are these products yeah because you know if you decide to ship all these goods uh, a sample all the way to your country it might consume a lot of time but when you have a product inspector then it it becomes easier because they are going to check this for you you can even video call them and uh, tell them let me have a look at this product and then because their work is you know they are product inspectors they can tell they can tell you their reviews and also because you'll be having a video call you can tell how are the products like yeah so personally for me if i want to introduce something new in the market or maybe i'm introducing a new supplier i always make use of a product inspector personally i do not have a professional one yeah i do not have a but well they're still professional the thing is uh, before i left china i have some very good links uh, with some good friends yeah so if i want to import something i can just call a friend and tell them oh by the way i want to import this and this stuff but i'm not sure about um the quality of those products would you kindly inspect for me uh, the product and tell me how they are so that is how i actually do it and maybe you can also make a use of the the same same um strategy yeah? 
then the other the other the other way in which you can confirm uh the product quality it's the method that you are actually you don't want to use yeah you don't want to use this method uh, requesting a sample just request for a sample and i, I always insist to I always insist on starting small just start with a sample be sure of the kind of a product um, that you are importing yeah and uh, something else you know I know I know we know imports business it's a very recruitive business and um, I know most of us we want to start today learn how to import today you know import today and make millions today to be honest without lying that one is very very impossible in entrepreneurship it is a journey it is a journey you start from somewhere yeah number one you are going to learn how how to go about it yeah and not just only importing because later you will need proper marketing skills how do you present your product it's a long way so it is the same way like a child can you can never get pregnant today a child get born today yeah and they start you know they start crawling and walking at the same day so it's just a matter of time so i would still insist a sample it's good yeah at asking for a sample it's good and uh, when we go to suppliers you realize that um there are different kind of samples you'll get there's a sample which you'll find that by the way it's very very expensive because number one they are selling the sample at a higher price and also the shipping cost of a sample definitely it's expensive others you'll find that some companies will uh, uh, will give you free samples but for the shipping fee you will take care care of it yeah others will do everything entirely for free yeah so when you are negotiating with these suppliers always request them i would like i would like to get a free sample so that this way it becomes easier yeah? and uh, even as the sample is coming you are, you continue doing your, your market research because this one is very very important yeah don't just bring a product that will be very will be become inappropriate in your economy just be very careful on this um on this aspect yeah guys uh, kindly excuse me if you see me looking down because i have taken down some notes and um you know we keep we keep on uh, forgetting this uh things the other one it's you making use of some tried or tested suppliers make use of some tried or tested suppliers personally uh, for those people who have joined uh, our master classes i i usually do provide suppliers i usually do provide suppliers and i'm not i'm not going to lie to you and tell you that i have all kind of suppliers no no but at least i've got a very good number of suppliers yeah and these are suppliers that i have i personally used and others my friends have actually used them and at least they know uh, the kind of products that they usually have yeah because personally i believe in referrals yeah if i have worked with someone for four years if i have worked with someone for four years and for all this time they have not yet frustrated me the truth is they have the chances of them frustrating you they are very 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 minimal yeah they are very very minimal so you can also join our master class and then if i have the supply then definitely i can refer you a very very um good supplier whom maybe you do not need to start with a sample because i have already worked uh, with them yeah so the other thing is when you are talking with your suppliers yeah you're not going to need any sample yes but the kind of supply that you are going to take and I, and this one i'm talking to those people who are who are taking uh, suppliers from maribaba i'm not talking about those people who have taken suppliers from me from 1688 from pindudo from taobao yeah i'm talking uh, to those people who are buying their products on um not taobao alibaba.com yeah this one you need to have a supplier who have a trade assurance a trade assurance when you have a supplier who has trade assurance and you do all your transaction on a rebaba it means that if your supplier there sends you bad items bad quality items then you can always ask for a refund so at least this one you've got a kind of you know a protection or a kind of safety so this one you can also work um with this yeah the other tip that probably i would ask it will come out of your own experience for you to trust a supplier that they have product it will come out of your own experience yeah for example for me because i've i've been in this business for quite some time i'm already sure this kind of a supplier their product they're like this like for example i have one of my my suppliers i like this supplier very much 
she is always very honest with me. She will be like, oh, Monica, don't take this product. The quality is a little bit poor, but if you still insist, it is cheap, yes, but you can still take it. You see, when you have that kind of a supplier, a supplier who is very honest with you, this one, the quality is not good. They are selling them, but at least they say the quality is not good. At least you are sure, should I take it or not, yeah? Depending on where you come from, depending on your economy, then definitely you are going to make... um. A conclusion on this this issue yeah so when you are having when you're experiencing on the different kind of supplies that you have let's say for example you want to buy some electronics have like four or five supplies whom you are talking with and you are buying products from them trust you me within no time within no time you'll be sure well uh, supplier A, they are reliable, their product are, uh, um, you know, their product, they have high quality. Supplier B, they are honest, but they have poor quality kind of products, yeah? So, this is another way. So, you have to experience it yourself. But how are you going to do this if you don't want to start small? You have to start small, Yeah. I know you have big dreams, but kindly start small, yeah? If, for example, you want, you are just starting with a new supplier and you do not know what kind of suppliers they are, yeah? So, kindly start small and within no time, within maybe a year or two years, you'll be sure this is a reliable supplier, a supplier whom we can work with, yeah? Um, the other thing that actually you can do is uh, when you're talking to your suppliers, always insist, <coughs> excuse me, Always insist on getting real pictures, not professional pictures. Always insist on getting real pictures. You can ask for videos. Whoever you are talking to, the supplier or their, their agent or one of the employees, always ask them maybe you'd want a video call. Uh, let them take you through the let them uh, take you through the company and you are able to see the different kinds of products that they actually have uh, in this case, yeah? Uh, so guys, that is all about you getting a quality product when you are buying your products from China. And actually, specifically for those people who are... Um, who are buying their products on alibaba so guys actually that is all for today thank you guys you know you are amazing yeah you are amazing because i think i checked and we are at 305 subscribers this is so amazing to me and i'm really humbled for the amazing work that you guys are doing again i'm having a number of you who are subscribing to my master classes i really salute you and i hope that i'm going to give you the best and we pray and hope that you are going to import some amazing product and the market is going you know your business is going to prosper so guys on our chinese corner i maybe today i want us to talk about a vocabulary and the name of this vocabulary is buy things how do you say buy things now that we are talking about buying things in china how do you say buy things we say my tongshi my tongshi my means buy my means buy Tongshi means thing, so my tongshi. So guys, I'm wishing you all the best as you my dongshi. Yeah, I'm wishing you all the best as you plan to my dongshi in China. I'm wishing you all the best as you plan to buy your products or things in China. Until next time, bye bye and zai jian wo aini. I love you. Mwah.